Hello and welcome back to another episode of Potato Place from Next Door. Let's just get right into it. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Oh, you stop in front of the door. Your mind rushes back to the events of yesterday, or as much as you can remember, and you hesitate. There's no way you really saw that thing. Your head is just confused because of the blow it took, right? Uh, no. Uh, n okay, so why did you run out of the house yesterday? Let's check this house first. Wait, I do have business over there. Oh my god. The house is covered in dirty footprints. They're all over the place. There's a sticky dark substance going all the way from the door handle to the table next to the door. A snail puller you bought. You should figure out what, where to put it eventually in your inventory. You try pulling it off, but it seems firmly stuck to the wood. It's sturdy enough, but it doesn't rip when you try to tear it in half. Meanwhile, there's something else near the check. Yeah. Oh my god. What was it trying to do? There are footprints leading here. Your purse looks like it is moved. You look, take a look inside. You can't be sure of it, but it seems there are a couple of things missing. And let's check. And let's check. I want to check my purse. Hello. Okay. If we call someone, let's call mom first. Should we call and tell her what happened? Yes. No, it will just worry her. Then, then she'll tell your dad and him with his heart condition probably can sort this out on her own. I don't know. Omar Hassan. Wait, no, no. Okay. Let's go up. Wait, really? You don't want to check those footprints? It was in my room. Wait, what's that? Your pillow is on the floor, dirty and ripped. Your, it's your bed. It's covered in footprints and your pillow is missing. Well, it's there. Let's save. Just in case. Your windows open the front footprints both come from and go to there yesterday it couldn't possibly be true couldn't it that creature the rational part of your brain wants to deny it and chalk it up to that blow to your head however the other part of your brain the one that can't help entertaining the idea of superstition the supernatural and the unknown says that what happened was very much real and very much a threat you decide to entertain that part of your brain. So far, you only know a handful of things about this thing, but nothing concrete enough for you to make an object assertion about what it is. Speculation won't lead you anywhere though. Would you? What you should do right now is go cut over and facts, go over the facts, and make sure to focus on the ones that are the most important. It only comes at night. It only comes through the window. It only comes through the window. Although I can't fathom why, it seems the only thing comes through the specific window. The Hesuki Sen seemed to have thought so too, as this was the only window boarded up and the only room locked. I think we should lock that window before. Um, locking the window itself didn't do any good. Though, it managed to unlock it from the outside somehow. 
Maybe that's the dark substance you find on the lock has something to do with it. It only comes at night. So far, that thing has only manifested itself at night. During the day, that house's window remains firmly closed. Although you also need to take into account the possibility that the timing might have been just a coincidence, so you can't be 100% sure it won't come during the day. Still, it's better than nothing. It didn't go after you before. It didn't chase you out of the house. It didn't chase you out of the house. For some reason, it didn't pursue you when you went outside. You had tripped and were knocked out. It had enough time to drag you back inside. Did it stop because it wanted to or was it because it couldn't go outside? Was it just another way of messing with you like it seemed to be doing before? Would leaving the house actually help? It didn't go after you before. That thing came from that thing came inside your house at least once before yesterday. It would have had plenty of chances to come after you before, so why didn't it? What exactly does it want? It turns out you don't know much, do you? Not enough to justify the distress that's coming over you, and especially not enough to justify leaving the house without any solid evidence. You have no idea what's going on, and the rational part of your brain tells you not to make any rash decisions until you can figure things out. Hell, you don't even know if what you saw yesterday was real or not, or thanks to the blow to your head. If it was real, and if whatever that was comes again tonight, you should find a way to confirm its uh, suspicions once and for all. Maybe you can hide somewhere and wait for it to show up. Despite feeling unsure of anything, something tells you that confronting it directly would be a bad idea. Maybe you can also use something to collect some proper evidence. Your camera. Camera boy, camera, use your camera. Just your camera, you haven't taken any photos. Well, now you will. Maybe you can use this to take a photo of the thing, then you'd have some solid evidence. Take the camera, yes. Okay. Let's save. No! Okay, I am back. So let's go here. I've got the camera, and let's hide. Yeah. Wait, let's save first. Okay, let's hide. It's cramped, but there's enough space for one person inside. You leave the doors open slightly, just enough for you to peek through the gap. You can see the sunlight fading away little by little as you wait anxiously, camera at ready. It's here. <laughs> what you saw yesterday was true after all, and it's back. Oh my god, you're Beautiful. The creature suddenly throws the closet door open and grabs you by the ankle. On impulse, you flash the camera right on the creature's face. The creature stumbles back, dazed by the flash, allowing you to kick it aside and out of the way. I need to get out of here. You feel like you've made a mistake. You should have gotten out of the house when you had the chance. There's no time. Dwell on that now. You need to go. Oh shit. What? What? When did it? Oh shit. Get. No, no, no. What? 
Hello? What's going on? I think I have to use the deodorant spray and the lighter. You know, her dad used to kill bugs, so maybe you can try that. Try an try an error. Like we can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. How do I use it? How do I use it? Okay, can't I take the deodorant now? Come on. Please, how will I use the deodorant? I'm gonna die. Shut that. Okay. You shut the door behind you and lock it quickly. Even with the locked door behind you, between you and the creature, you don't feel safe at all. Thinking back, that thing did manage to unlock the window from outside. What if it can unlock doors too? I need to do something. This can't help you right now. Go on, walk and sink. Wait, let me save. Can't I use any of this? Yeah. The phone is dead. Oh, shit. Maybe I can get out of here. Try to open the window, but it's stuck. Damn it! Wait. You suddenly remember you have the lighter and the door and spray. Maybe you can. Yes! Yes! Press A to light. Oh! Awesome! Ah! Yeah! Wait, I died?
but I thought I had it. Oh. Okay, I gotta win this one. Yeah. I think he did it. It took a while, but the creature eventually succumbed to the flames. You stood there shocked, watching as it started thrashing around violently and smashing into furniture. Once you realized what was happening, you tried backing away, but your feet got caught on something and it fell down. You tried backing away, but... Despite being on fire, the creature held on to your ankle tightly, refused to let him go. Eventually, it wasn't the only thing that was on fire. Oh, shit. That's it? Is that the ending? I'm pretty sure there's another ending. Maybe there are more endings to it. But I'll look into it. I'll just leave it here. So, wow. This is pretty interesting. I really liked it. It was very creepy. It was disturbing in a way. But I really enjoyed playing it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Come to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you <laughs> in the next game. I'll try figuring out if there's another ending. Until then, goodbye!